hey y'all welcome back to my channel for the ones who have been here before and welcome to the ones who have not my name is Janae and I'm the owner of confidently you creations and I know where have I been where have I been where have I been it's been like two months since I uploaded a video but April and May have been super crazy um, I guess I'll give you a little rundown before we get into the tutorial um so, so y'all can know what happened i did not just abandon y'all okay so april was my daughter's second birthday april was our me and my husband's eight year anniversary april was our vacation that we went on in april we caught covid we caught the vid um <laughs> so that was a recovery all in itself um we went to to jamaica for our anniversary um at the end of april and it was great it was phenomenal for any of my people or my uh or my viewers that have been to jamaica you already know it was beautiful and it was great so um by the end of the vacation like the last night i end up having symptoms and i'm like oh my gosh i got covid i already know you know and my mom's like no you know it's probably just this but anyways we came back uh, we got our test and um we ended up testing positive for it i um had lingering cough i had like a lingering vertigo and then um after that um it was like a couple days later i ended up like feeling sick all over again so it felt like I was sick for another week and so it's just been just just crazy just crazy um so now we're trying to launch our classes for you guys and it's just been very busy it's just been very busy for the past two months so I'm back I'm here I'm sorry I have a tutorial that I'm uploading today so <laughs> don't beat me up okay so anywho this cup that was made um, that we're going to do the t tutorial for today um, it was actually made for a floral cup swap for Flynn Sisters Boutique and um, I used one of the vinyl patterns patterns in my shop and I will uh, link that for you guys in the description um, in the bottom of this video to where you guys can check that out I actually used a transparent um, version of uh, the vinyl that I have in the shop um, I don't have the transparent one yet I was thinking if I wanted to add it or not but the regular and the transparent on the color that I did it kind of was similar so it's not a huge difference but I do have some transparent patterns coming next month y'all are the first to know so shh. so anyways I posted this on my Instagram and a lot of people fell in love with this tumbler so I'm just gonna hit go ahead bleh, and give you guys the tutorial on how I made it and where you can get the supplies from so I feel like I have talked enough called you guys up and told you why I made this tumbler and now I'm gonna show you how I made it so stay tuned for the tutorial <music> Okay guys, so as always, start off with a fully sanded and prepped tumbler. I spray painted mine candy pink for this, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the epoxying. Um, I added an ultra fine glitter. Um, it is an epoxy additive that I went ahead and mixed right in with my epoxy and gave this tumbler a nice coat. Just one coat is all you need. It is an ultra fine glitter. Um, and then I went ahead and sanded my rim and then we are good to go. Um, so this gives it a glittered look without glittering it in a way. Um, it actually looks just like this um, Make It Pink by Peachy Olive Glitters. It looks literally just like that um, without having to add the glitter, two coats of epoxy, just kind of skipping a step here. Um, I knew I was going to add vinyl to it, so I didn't want to, you know, have like super, a whole bunch of like coats of epoxy on it. Um, so this is the vinyl that we're going to be using. This is actually um, one that is in our shop. 
Um, I will link that down in the description box for you. It's called Vintage Farmhouse Flowers. And what I'm doing now is just measuring from the top to the bottom of where I wanna place the um, vinyl. I just wanted to make sure it was even. I had an even space at the top and the bottom. It was a little bit over an inch on both sides, the top and the bottom. And then I just placed just a small piece of painter's tape to where I know where to um, put my vinyl and then I can just go ahead and start wrapping it from there. So like I said in the beginning, this is the transparent version of the vinyl that is in the shop. Um, as you can see here, it like the pink under it just kind of matched perfectly. I don't know, with the wood, it just kind of gave me a pinkish vibe. Sorry, my daughter's playing with the light per usual. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, if you're interested in the transparent one, just let me know. Um, I possibly could make it happen for you. But if not, um, you're more than welcome to purchase the one that's already in the shop that is not transparent. Um, but like I said, it, both of them is very, very similar. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this around the tumbler and using my scraper tool to remove any of the bubbles that may get underneath the vinyl. So once I've finished with that and I've reached the end, I'm gonna go and grab my crafting knife because I forgot it uh, on the countertop. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the extra part that we do not need and save that for like a pen or, you know, keychain or whatever. Don't just throw it away. I don't like to waste like extra vinyl. Um, anywho, so we're just gonna take our craft knife and we're just going to remove that extra overlapping piece of vinyl um, that we have there. And if you need some assistance, like if you can't cut in a straight line, um, then you can use a piece of painter's tape and just place it right where you want it. And then, you know, trim um, where your line of painter's tape is. That's another way that you can do it, which I've probably done that in um, a, the tropical triangles video i believe i'll link that at the top right hand corner here for you so you can check that out um but yes that is another way that you can do it um just make sure you you know trim all the way down to where you can't um see the seam on um, this part it was a little extra you don't have to do this part because you're going to lay a strip on there anyways but just me being extra i went ahead and removed it <laughs> All right, so now you can take your craft knife and pop any of the bubbles that you may see um, on the vinyl and then take your scraper tool to um, kind of get the air out of there. But just after that, you're going to lay a coat of epoxy on there and then now we're going to lay our decals. So I cut out two strips of... Um, this was like a... Like a it's not gold... Well, it is gold, but it's not like that bright, bright gold. I forgot what it was, but it's like a paler gold that Cricut has um, in a textured vinyl. So I cut two strips. Um, they are 0.15 um, and then the length of it was 10. Um, just to have a little uh, bit of excess to kind of trim off there. So it wasn't 10 inches all the way, but just wanted some extra. Um, so make sure to measure your tumbler again because layers of epoxy changes the um, circumference of the tumbler. So just because you measured it, in, measured it in the beginning, it will not be the same once you get to this step. So um, I'm just going to layer, lay those on here and then just adjust them as I need to. So for this part, I have two rectangles. I have a pink one and I have a gold one. I measured in between the two strips, as you can see. Um, I didn't make my rectangles like the full 
image of the vinyl. Um, so what I did was I did a rectangle, let's say it was four inches long, and then I just created an offset for that rectangle and just made it a little bit wider. I think my offset was probably something slight, like point. 0 0.3, 0 0.04, just something slight to where you can see it peek through behind that pink. Um, I didn't want it, you know, super, super thick. So my offset was really small, like I said, 0 0.0, maybe even five. Um, and then I just used um, that. <clears throat> and then the same thing for the words, I usually use like a 0 0.06 or 0 0.08 for my words. And I just created an offset for that. So now I'm just layering it, layering it on. I layered the pink tech wrap vinyl onto the gold Cricut one. And then now I'm laying my offset of my words onto the pink one. And now I'm just gonna move on to layering the words onto this. If you have very specific questions on how I did it, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer for you in, um, in the question box or the comment section. Um, so I am always here to answer y'all's questions. I don't just get ghosts after I post a video. But my B and my F was a little crooked uh, for me putting it on the transfer tape. So I did just have to go in afterwards and just move it with my um, crafting knife just to get it um, straight onto the offset part. The decal I actually got from Creative Fabrica. I will link that for you guys too down there to check out if you wanted to use the same decal. It says, be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and weed out the small areas and we're gonna put it on the tumbler. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just gonna try to um, line it up to get an even amount of space at the top and the bottom. I did do this a couple times just to get it straight, but again, you know how important measuring is because once it's on there, it's on there and you have to recut everything. Um, so I tried to, it still wasn't exact, but it wasn't off very much. Um, so move it around until you are comfortable with where it is and we are going to put this on as a whole. Um, with this one, typically, we would um, do like the hinge method. We cut one side off and do one side, you know, do one side and do the other side. But um, for this one, um, we are going to place it on um, middle first. You, with big decals like this, that's like one image, like how it's just one big rectangle, I always like to do it from the middle. I, I was going to hinge it, but then I was like, eh. I didn't want to chance it. So <laughs> I started it in the middle. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just kind of making sure it's, you know, the transfer tape is on the tumbler so where it doesn't come off and move. And then I'm just going to remove the entire backing and then start in the middle there. There you go. And then you'll do it from one side and then you'll do it to the other. And then that is all for that. And then just peel it off really carefully to make sure all your words are on. Now, booyah, we are done with that. So now we're gonna epoxy it together. I feel like we never epoxy together. We're always skipping this step. So I'm just gonna show you guys in real time how I epoxy my cup for a little bit. So I'm right-handed, so I take the epoxy, just take some of it when I'm pouring it on there and just move to the left and downward. And I do this all the way around the cup until I can feel that every part has been touched with epoxy. And then I just kind of move up and down after that. Um, like I said, just making sure everything has an even coat, I'll just move up and down the cup. But right now, as I'm putting, on, putting it on there, I'm moving like a downwards motion just to make sure everything is covered. Um, other than that, um, you wanna put two coats of epoxy on here to make sure everything is nice and covered. And after that, you are done. And here's the final result. Um, be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. So be patient. Your bloom blossom, your blossom <laughs> is coming, okay? So yes, please check out the vinyl and any other vinyls in our shop. I will link the website down in the description box. Um, as you know, we are supposed to upload every Friday and we're going to get back on our schedule. Don't do that. Um, 
join our Facebook community that is very new. Um, I will link the community down in the description box. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as I can. Bye guys. Thank you.